Hi guys, um, here we go with week number two of homeschooling. Um, I hope you all had a good week last week. It kind of went by fast and um, not too terrible. Hopefully this week will go a little smoother. Um, I'm going to start chapter 14. Uh, this chapter is about geometry, which is the study of shapes and what creates those shapes. I'm on page 873 in your book, so if you have that with you, please open it up. There is a lot of vocabulary words in this chapter. Um, I don't plan on doing a vocabulary quiz, but we'll see how the week goes and see what I come up with. Um, but please make sure you, you notice the words and pay attention to those because you will be seeing these for a long, long time, um, not just next year, but even through high school and into college if you go. All right, on page 873, um, the first word they talk about is a point. It is an exact location that is represented by a dot. So if I am making a point, it is really just a dot on the paper. Okay, so that is a point. Um, from that point, you could make a line. A line is a straight set of points that extends in opposite directions without ever ending. So a line would look like this, and the arrows show that it could go on forever and ever and ever in both directions. It's not going to go on and on forever, but that's the idea that a line could if we could keep going. Um, at the bottom, in the key concept box, they're showing you um, a ray is part of a line that has one end point and extends in one direction without ending. So a ray has a point and goes out one direction from that point. Okay. And then the last one in that uh, key concept box is a line segment, which has a point on each end. It's a line segment. And these things usually get named with uh, letters. So they named this one line A, B, and that would be shown naming it this way. So they, they draw a line above the, the letters to show you that um, that is a line. If they tell you to make line AB, you're going to draw that. Okay? If um, they tell you on the ray, they want you to draw line ray AB, they would show A, B with a little arrow above that, okay? If they want you to draw a line, they're gonna put two points on it somewhere, name those, and then they're going to put a line with the two arrows above A, B that way. So these little symbols are what you would um, look at to decide what is it they really want me to draw? What do they want me to make? Okay? So let's look at the example there on page 873. It says Molly drew the figure shown. Identify the figure she drew. She drew this and it has two points. One is called X and the other one is called Y. Since it goes in both directions, the arrows show you that it keeps going. It didn't stop on either side, so that is called a line. She drew line X, Y. Okay? All right. Keeping all of those on there, let's look at page 874. And on this page, they're going to give you um, 
something they want you to draw. They have you wanting to draw line segment CD. In order to draw that line segment, we would want to make two endpoints with a line in between. We're going to label one point C and the other one D. Okay? They may give you a figure and then ask you to just tell what it is. So if they draw this, they want you to tell what the name of that is. Because it is a ray, we're going to write the letters A, B and draw an arrow above it to show it's a ray. That shows there is one end point and the other end has an arrow. So you're really deciding, uh, is my line going to have two arrows? It will if it's a line. Is it going to have an end point and an arrow? If so, it's a ray. Is it going to have two endpoints? If so, it's a line segment. Okay? You just need to remember the symbols that go with them. If it's a line, your little line above the letters will have two arrows, the ray, one, and a line segment, just a line. Okay? So on the pages I'm asking you to do, which are page 877 and 878, the first two questions just want you to identify each figure. Tell me what it is. Is it a line, a ray, or a line segment? Okay. Um, on number three and four on the back side, they want you to draw it. So they're either giving you this symbol, this symbol, or this symbol, and you're supposed to draw it and label it with the letters they gave you. It's not always going to be A or B, okay? Um, number five, they gave you a shape, and they want you to tell how many line segments there are and how many points that figure has. Um, six through 10 is just a little vocabulary stuff, putting the right word in the sentence. And then number 11, um, which way, they drew a picture for you, and they want to know which way you would write what it is for an answer. Okay. Good luck with that. If you have any questions, just send me an email.